made it. <laughs> oh man. This is one for the record books, I think. Four hours and 43 minutes round trip. That part, not so good. But I got, I got, I got, I got reasons, man. I got reasons. After being out here for a while and not having enough water, I was really concerned a lot of times if I was going to run out. And that's a lot like the membership program. If you don't have enough income, everything gets really difficult. And that's why it's important when I launched this membership program that I got the word out right away and get people to check it out and every little bit helps. I mean, I'm collecting rainwater in trash cans, right? Every drop, every dollar out here makes a difference. So I really appreciate you checking out what we got here. And all of the money is going towards helping me keep the ranch going and uh, bringing content to you to show you what it's really like living out here. I'm not smart enough to be fake, so whatever's happening is what you guys get to see every day and every week out here. So I'm out here full time now, and normally you don't get to see the rain. So enjoy it when you get it. All right, thanks a lot. Stay tuned. Check us out. Bye for now. So I just wanted to get this on camera because it's kind of crazy. 49, 49.3 pounds of groceries. I'm not going to worry about the rest of them, but there's also parts and hardware, and I got a book, and yeah, so ain't none of this light. What happened was, I got this big heavy box, I get it up to the trailer, and it's almost as big as the trailer, you know, so I didn't want to scratch my hands, so I kind of get it there, and I drop it a little bit, not being very smart, you know. Well, when it drops, it knocks the bike over, so I'm like, well, that's typical. So I didn't think much of it at the time. Go ahead and pick up the bike. Trailer doesn't move. <laughs> I'm like, crap. So I broke my hitch on my trailer at the post office, 15 miles from here. What am I gonna do with this, right? I made a slight improvement to the hitch, which in, in a lot of ways was better, except it broke. So in that way, not better. So what do you do, right? If this thing slides forward, it's going to hit the wheel. So you can't just bungee cord it together. And you got 50 pounds. Now, the good part is, is 50 pounds is pretty much right on the axle. So there isn't very much weight down. So what I did, I ran the cargo strap from the back about here, up through the hitch a couple times through this thing, and then back and then ratcheted it to that side. So that kept it from going back. Then what was left of the strap, I tied it around and around and around to hold this. I have no idea if it's going to work, but I thought if I put some electrical tape here to kind of just hold it all together, because the strap itself would probably be strong enough. So the electrical tape was just to keep it from falling off. And it worked. It got me all the way home. And then as if that's not enough, yeah, I got a broken smoke again. So I'm sitting here coming home and I'm like, okay, which is going to fail first, the hitch or the wheel? Because the last time I had broken spokes, I broke three of them. And I ended up walking home because the wheel gets really wonky when you get a broken spoke. So this one is already rubbing on the frame a little bit, but it was enough, right? Um, so I got all the way home. I was going a little bit slower than normal, but not much really. If it looked really rough, I'd slow down more than I normally do. And we made it. And it, this didn't break once. This worked out really good. I got kind of lucky in my in my hack here because I had enough of a enough of a piece that I could overlap it. I could hear a grinding, squeaking every time I would go around a corner. So it didn't pivot very good, but it, it was you know, good enough, right? So literally, that's all it was holding. That's it. 
this part should be here. Um, there's a bolt that comes through here that just snapped right off. So I had enough that it stayed there. And the cargo strap from the back kept it from pulling back and then tied it around a, you know, 20 times and then the electrical tape to hold it all together. I honestly, I didn't really know if I was gonna make it out of the post office parking lot the way it was. And then every time I went, you know, I went a block, I'd look back, oh, it's still there, got a mile, still there, got to the top of a hill, okay, it's still there, down to the bottom of the hill, okay, it's still there. You know, every so often I'd stop and check it, and then I'm kind of like, well, okay, I'll just keep going until it quits working, and then I'll try again, you know. I couldn't get the broken bolt out, and, you know, I probably, I could have got another one of those bolts. I've got parts on the trailer I could have scabbed a bolt from. That's the last flight for that design. We're going to change it again. I'm, you know, the load that I'm carrying is too heavy for regular bikes, and that's, we're proving it, because that's, this is the second rear wheel I've broken now, so... And I got the motorcycle wheels for 100 bucks a piece. Honestly, I looked. I looked into fat tire wheels, which are just nice wide four inch tires, three and four inch wide tires. That would have been really nice out here. They're over $100 a piece. Okay, well at that point, I might as well just go to the motorcycle wheels. I've got a few spare wheels now for 26. So I could cobble another one together. I also saved all of the spokes when I took, I had some wheels I took apart. So I could probably just replace a couple broken spokes and get this one back. not find a worse place. But we're home. We made it. Just lay down and take a nap. Yeah, what do I got? Probably 10 pounds of oatmeal. I don't know. I'm done.